So welcome back to part three of this Terraform Azure series. If you haven't caught uh, videos part one and two yet, the links are below if you want to catch up. So in part three, we'll be creating NSGs, Network Security Groups, um, which will allow us to um, restrict various ports to our subnets. So for the front end, we'll use RDP 3389 and 443 HTTPS. And for the back end, it will be SQL 1433 ports only. So if we take a look at the Terraform scripts we're going to use um, with our, within our Terraform folder. Okay, so in part three, this series we're, we're going to create a network security group for the front end and back end subnets. This will be called NSGFE for the front end. And what that will do is it allow remote desktop protocol RDP 3389 and it will also allow HTTPS 443. We'll also create an NSG for the back end, NSG BE and that will allow just a single SQL port 1433 to the back end subnet. It's just an example, I mean this can be changed, but it just shows how you can lock it down from front end to back end. So if you have a look at the Azure portal and the NSGs, security groups, as we can see there is no security groups present within Azure at the moment. So if we type Terraform space plan, we can see exactly what is going to be created now. So as explained before, we're going to create an NSG backend, an NSG front end with all the required ports. So if we type Terraform space apply to apply the changes, type yes and enter to confirm. If we go back to the portal, NSGs, and click refresh, we can see the two NSGs now created. Okay, that's done. If we go back to the portal, have a look at the front end NSG. We can see our security groups in there or our file rules rather uh, allow RDP and on the back end we have our SQL ports to allow between subnets. 